we have purchased 5000 electric buses and the future plan is we will take 50000 electric buses from delhi to chandigarh delhi to jaipur delhi to simla delhi to lucknow all now it's possible so this can reduce the cost and the air condition buses still you can reduce the ticket rate by 30 percent crucial for india's low carbon electronic bus expansion india's quest for a low carbon future is tearing away from the european fixation on electric cars focusing instead on a revolutionary shift in public transport with staggering 370 million daily commuters relying on 1.7 million buses. E-bus seva पर 57,613 करोड़ पे खर्च किए जाएंगे। 10,000 बसें और ये 10,000 new electrical buses, 10,000 नई electrical buses की सेवाएं उपलब्ध करवाई जाएंगी। देश भर के 139 शहरों में से 100 शहरों को चैलेंज मेथड के आधार पर चुना जाएगा। Even a modest 10 to 20 percent electrification could turn millions of journey into eco-friendly endeavors. Enter the fast ad- adoption and manufacturing of electronic vehicles fame scheme, the catalyst behind meteoric rise of electric buses across India. Currently boasting 5,000 electric buses, the nation is gearing up for a five-fold surge in the next two, three years. The recent unveiling of PM e-bus seva scheme is a bold move, targeting over a hundred medium and smaller cities for electric bus integration. Of the electric vehicle supply chain, you think that India can have the largest uh, market share of? Is it the whole vehicle or, or parts of vehicles as well? Or, or parts of vehicles as well. The government is supporting domestic manufacturing and encouraging localization of all EV parts. Now the battery in EV is the most important component which shares 50% cost of an e-vehicle. I had recently chaired a meeting to push research and development efforts towards alternative battery technology for electric vehicles such as metal ion, metal air and at the same time zinc ion, aluminum ion and steel ion also. We are making a lot of experiments and now our research is on the final stage where I am confident that we will get good results from that. Yet, this electrifying growth is in walk in the park. It owes much to the government's backing including purchase incentive under fame. The success of the demand aggregation model played a pivotal role slashing upfront cost to match even undercut traditional internal combustion engine buses. Thanks to CESL grand challenge, price dropped by whooping 23 to 27%, reaching an astonishing 31 to 35% with subsidies. Boyd by the success, the central government unveiled the National Electronic Bus Program, setting a goal of introducing 50,000 electric buses over the next five years. Despite these strides, the focus has largely been on expansion, rather than creating a specialized electric bus ecosystem. The real question remains, is this rapid expansion of electric buses the linchpin to India's low-carbon strategy? propelling them into a sustainable dominant force in the urban turb. India's low carbon strategy propelling them into a sustainable dominant force in urban transportation.